Okay, are we? No, not yet, not yet. But I just want to give you a heads up. I know Mrs. Hey, Murphy. Mr. Collier, it does say we're streaming live now. Mm -hmm. Is that correct, Mr. Sigler? Yep. Okay. This is for streaming live on YouTube. Okay. Yep, I see it. The link might have changed for the one on the website. Let me check that real quick. Okay. Okay. One second. One second, Catherine. Okay. Kathleen. On the website, it's a different uh, okay. one. We have to link it to the website real quick. I just didn't want you to say anything you didn't want to say on live. No problem. Thank you. Got quiet. <laughs> I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. Lunchtime. Can you all leave your uh, laptop plugged into the to the battery charger as you're on here today? Uh, I, I did. I do. I did. I charged mine up completely, and then I just happened to look down a few minutes ago, and it was almost dead. So I, I know. Dead. That's what I found out. So that's why I just keep mine plugged keep in. Plugged in. Yeah, it's getting back up there now. Yeah, I thought, oh no, if it shuts off, I have to go through all that process again. Okay, I think the Zoom meetings drain it too. Hi. Mrs. Dusty, Mr. Dusty, we are live now, so we're okay. I believe we're ready to go, Mrs. Johnson. Okay, so um, twelve. What is it? Twelve oh nine. Okay, then next on the agenda is uh, uh, personnel, number seven. A, approve the following certified employee contracts. Uh, Katie Bailey, two-year elementary. Heather Beckler, one-year elementary. Alex Davis, one-year elementary. Ashley Dietrich, one-year elementary. Leslie Eldridge, one-year elementary. Melanie Keller, one-year elementary. Sarah Moore, one-year elementary. Jen Ziegler, two-year elementary. Wayne Stacy, one-year middle school. Beth Kingus, two-year middle school. Nathan Berkheimer, two-year high school. Julia Bryant, one-year high school. Caitlin Dawson, one-year high school. Anthony Joseph, two-year high school. Krista Nunes, one-year high school. Danielle Sawyers, two-year high school. Carol Strong, one-year high school, and Cynthia St. Clair, one-year high school. Do we have a motion? I'll make a motion. Paula White, motion. Second. second. Who second? Rachel. Oh. It, was it Rachel Rang? It doesn't matter. One of us did. <laughs> I can't hear when both speak, though. So Rachel Ray, second the motion? Sure. I Ms. didn't. I <laughs> yes. Sorry. Mrs. Johnson? Yes. Mrs. Isles? Yes. Mrs. White? Yes. And Ms. Green? Yes. Okay. Uh, part B of that approve the following classified employees contracts Tracy Brinkman, continuing assistant to the treasurer. Debbie Crone, continuing, Emus, administrative assistant, Dave Furman, two-year technology assistant, mm -hmm. Stephanie Fuser, two-year cafeteria, Debbie Holt, continuing, two-year aide, Crystal Gaucher, two-year aide, Loretta Nichols, two-year bus driver, Albert Barber, two-year custodian. Do we have a motion? Move. Second. Second. Catherine? Yes. I'll second. Laurie Isles? Yes. Okay. Mrs. White? Yes. Mrs. Isles? Yes. Mrs. Johnson? Yes. Ms. Green? Yes. And Ms. Ray? Yes. Okay. C. Resolution to approve a reduction in force of the position of elementary art teacher. Whereas the Fayetteville Perry Local. <laughs> 
School District Board of Education, the board has received a recommendation from the superintendent for a reduction in force to abolish a position for financial reasons. And whereas the board has determined that a reduction in force is necessary and desires to approve said abolishment in, agree in accordance with revised code 3319.17 board policy and article eight of the collective bargaining agreement between the Fayetteville Perry Local School District Board of Education and the Fayetteville Perry Education Association. And whereas the board has complied with all applicable requirements of reduction in force provisions of the collective bargaining agreement to include timely notice to association president and affected members whose contracts of employment are to be suspended pursuant to the reduction in force. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Fayetteville Perry Local School District Board of Education as follows. The following positions shall be abol abolished. Elementary art teacher. The treasurer shall cause notice of the board's action herein to be sent to the affected staff member holding the, this position. Section two, it is found and determined that all formal action of this board concerning or related to the adoption of this resolution was adopted in an open meeting of this board and all deliberations of this board and any of its committees that resulted in such formal actions were adopted in meetings open to the public in compliance with all applicable requirements of the Ohio Revised Code. Do we have a motion? I'll move. Second. Paula White and second, Catherine Green. Yes. Ms. Strang? Yes. Mrs. Johnson? Yes. Mrs. Isles? Yes. Mrs. White? Yes. And Ms. Green? Yes. Uh, do we have any other, Mr. Collier? No, we do not at this time. Okay. All positions are pending proper credentials and background checks. A major purchase approval to purchase three multi-process welders for FFA Agricultural <laughs> Department in the amount of $4,875. Career tech funds will be util utilized for the purchase. That's attachment M1. Do we have a motion? Move. Second. Catherine Green and Paula White. Yes. yes. Ms. Ray? Yes. Mrs. Isles? Yes. Mrs. Johnson? Yes. Ms. Green? Yes. And Mrs. White? Yes. Okay, new business, approval to renew contract with CDW-G for Microsoft, subscription license for the 2020-2021 school year. That's attachment NB1. I'll move. I'll second. Catherine Green moved? No. I moved. Rachel Ray moved. And who second? Second. <laughs> I can't see your faces because of the agenda. Laurie Isles moved. Or second, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Mrs. White? Yes. Mrs. Isles? Yes. Mrs. Johnson? Yes. Ms. Ray? Yes. And Ms. Green? Yes. Approval to renew Southern Ohio Educational Service Center contact for three years. The attachment is NB-2. Do we have a motion? I motion. Second. Lori Isles motion. Catherine Green second. Yes. Ms. Ray? Yes. Mrs. Isles? Yes. Mrs. Johnson? Yes. Ms. Green? Yes. And Mrs. White? Yes. Can we move the agenda down? I'm sorry. Okay, approval of the Fayetteville Perry Academic Action Plan during the COVID-19 pandemic. That's attachment NB-3. Do we have a motion? I'll move. Paula White? Yes. Second. 
I'll second. Was that Rachel Ray? Laurie. Laurie Isles, okay. And then and board members, what I'll do too is that on this attachment, this is something that I think would be beneficial in black and white, we'll put on our school website as well. I agree. Very good good idea. idea. Yes. Okay, Miss Miss Ray? Yes. Mrs. Isles? Yes. Mrs. Johnson? Yes. Miss Green? Yes. And Mrs. White? Yes. Okay, D, approval to update district policy by Neola. Details will be given by the board meeting and this is going to be tabled to the May board meeting. Yeah, just, and just, just due to uh, the extension of not coming back to school, mm -hmm. um, this is something that uh, I like to just get on all, all the, you know, want to update, make sure all the updated policies and I understand them. Um, so this is something we can wait till the next board meeting. So I right. like to do this. Okay. Okay. Approval to accept the list of seniors to graduate who have met the Ohio Department of Education requirements for the 2019-2020 school year. Attachment NB4. Do we have a motion? I move. I'll second. second. Laurie Isles and Paula White? Yes. Mm -hmm. Ms. Ray? Yes. Mrs. Isles? Yes. Mrs. Johnson? Yes. Ms. Green? Yes. And Mrs. White? Yes. Okay, F, approval to suspend the SRO contract with the Fayetteville Police Department for the remainder of the 2019-2020 school year. Attachment NB5, do we have a motion? I'll move. Paula White? Yes. Second. Kathleen Johnson. And and board, I just want to just clarify too, especially for everybody out there where, um, you know, this is just for the remaining of this school year. So when we get back next school year, um, um, our SRO contract will be activated. Okay. Did you get a second? I did. I got Paula White okay. moved and Kathleen Johnson second the motion. Okay. Ms. Ray? Yes. Mrs. Isles? Yes. Mrs. Johnson? Yes. Ms. Green? Yes. And Mrs. White? Yes. Approval to prorate all supplemental activities for the 2019-2020 school year due to COVID-19. That's attachment NB-6. Do we have a motion? Move. Is that Rachel Ray? Catherine. Oh, that was Catherine that moved? It's hard to know. Your voices all sound alike. They do, and I can't see with the screen. So who's the second? I'll second. Laurie. Laurie. Okay, thank you. Miss Ray? Yes. Mrs. Isles? Yes. Mrs. Johnson? Yes. Miss Green? Yes. And Mrs. White? Yes. Okay, do we have any other? Um, no, we don't have another to vote on, but I just also want to um, uh, also state when we were talking about uh, the different things and how we're handling things for the rest of the remainder of the school year. I know Mrs. Murphy, athletic director, reached out to me and stated that uh, normally they would have a winter sports banquet. And uh, due to everything, she still wanted to, um, to have that opportunity. But what they're, they're planning on doing is uh, doing like a virtual, a virtual um, awards banquet. To where the the coaches will try to put some video together um, or some sort of slideshow. So there will be something out there. And I know her goal is, uh, I believe it is next week or the first week of May is to have something together. So I wanted to make sure I get that out to you guys. That would be good. Yes. That would be good. Yes. Very good. So um, number 10, a motion for adjournment. I'll move, Rachel. I'll second, Paula. Okay. Mrs. White? Yes. Mrs. Isles? Yes. Mrs. Johnson? Yes. Miss Green? Yes. And Miss Ray? Yes. Okay, meeting adjourned at uh, 1222. 12, what, 1223? And the next board meeting is scheduled at 8.30 a.m. in the board conference room at the Board of Education office on May the 20th, 2020. Please understand the board meeting may be a virtual board meeting bearing on the COVID-19 pandemic. 
And, you know, this is the first time we've all been involved in anything like this. And I think we've done a good job. Do we have to stay with that 8.30 a.m. time? Well, I was going to state that where <laughs> since, uh, since everything's been pushed back for many of the year, we may, we'll, uh, may just uh, move it to 10 a.m. Okay, that's today. better. If it's 8.30, uh, we may wear, would we be allowed to wear our pajamas? <laughs> <laughs> you do, Tim. Uh, I'll let you decide on that, Mrs. Mrs. Johnson. <laughs> Is she in charge 